Oh, Netflix, can it you up? How are we all? Excellent, excellent. How did I find Saudi? Um, expensive. Yeah, just a very, very expensive race from both drivers, to be fair. Yeah. Melbourne. Uh, it was nice to be on home soil. Yeah, I think Jack enjoyed that aspect as well. Uh, we had a nosebleed at one point, didn't we? Stop up there in 13th. Whew. Just got expensive again after that, though, didn't it? Hi guys, I'm Aussie Villain, and welcome back to Aussie Villain Racing for today, the Japanese Grand Prix, which means we obviously have a few races to catch you up on, uh, and they have been expensive races as well, unfortunately. So let's go and do that first of all. We had Saudi Arabia. Now, unfortunately, we can't go through uh, the qualifying and whatnot. It uh, wasn't great. We were right at the back. Um, now, Saudi Arabia. In practice, Stoffel van Dorn stuck it in the wall, ruined an engine, a gearbox, and an ERS. That's expensive. In the race, Jack Doohan. Stuck it in the wall. Did his engine and his ear. I can't remember. We'll have a look at the, at the powertrain stuff in a minute. But again, expensive. Penalties are definitely coming at some point in the race. Uh, in the season, I should say. And it was ultimately all just a little bit of a disaster, this one. So that Saudi Arabia did not go well. So Melbourne. Melbourne was a weird race because we had a safety car. Uh, right when people could have stopped, uh, particularly if you're on a soft tire, um, I didn't do it with Stoppel Van Dorn. I tried to get, uh, I tried to get track position. So we got up to 13th. There was blood everywhere. Everybody's noses were bleeding. Uh, off the so restart of the safety car, Van Dorn forgot to brake and just absolutely <laughs> rammed up the back of Albin, uh, which brought out a red flag. Uh, obviously, Van Dorn was out again. That's expensive. That's more spare parts we've got to build when we only have uh, two slots, of course, in our factory that we can manufacture stuff. And when we're trying to get upgrades through as well, it's a little bit like Williams in real life. It was a bit of a pain in the backside. Uh, Doohan was doing okay. I think he got up to 14th at one point through the through the pit stop cycles. Uh, but ultimately, we didn't come last. We beat Gwen Yuzo, but we, again, we're just way, way off the pace. So a little bit of a shame and very, very expensive couple of races for us. The pit stops, uh, we haven't scored any more points in that. Um, so yeah, we still have our, uh, our points from Bahrain and that is it. So let's have a look at the cars and where we're at here. Stoffel van Dorn. Now we do have a new chassis on the car, which is partly why we've come back for this race. It should it should help us a little bit move up the grid. Um, so that's good. The other thing we have on, I think, both cars is the under, a new underfloor. Again, that looks like it's going to move us up the up the grid a little bit. 15th in high-speed cornering, which is important at Suzuka. I'm cautiously optimistic that that might help us. An extra weight, we have the lightest cars on the grid now. So I'm really hopeful that we are going to see a bit of an improvement for uh, for this one. But where the, the the crash and the damage has really hurt us, I mean, spare parts, we have no suspension. Um, yeah, so it's not great. Uh, we have no spare underfloors and no spare chassis. So I'll have to go back to the old spec if anything happens. Do we actually, we might not even have any old spec. Uh, we've got one old spec chassis. So very, please don't crash again, boys. Uh, now the powertrains, this is where the problems are. If we look at the engine, um, you can see the first engine for Van Dorn's crash in Saudi is essentially a write-off. Uh, we'll use it in free practice probably till it's dead completely, but that's not good. Uh, the ERS, again, pretty much written off. We'll use it in free practice till it's dead, but we're 100% going to need to take a penalty for that later in the season. And then the gearbox, again, uh, he rid off one in Saudi. He severely damaged another in Melbourne. Van Dorn has gearbox penalties coming sooner rather than later as well. It's going to be the fourth race of the season, and we'll have to use a third new gearbox, which is not great for... Ah, oh, Stoffel, come on, man. You're supposed to be the experienced one. Uh, so then we go to Jack. Now, his engine, again, did quite a bit of damage to it in Saudi. We can use it in free practice, um, but not great. His ERS, uh, again, we can use it in free practice not great and then the gearbox um well he wrote off his gearbox in saudi so again we're going to be uh yeah uh, we'll probably use this one in free practice as well but yeah it's uh it's <laughs> it's not particularly strong now in terms of uh, of other developments that are coming through you can see we're designing the other three parts of the car to take the weight off um so those will be with us relatively shortly uh new side pods we're not going to have them for this race but they are on the way those are the uh the, the lesser weighted ones uh we've got a third underfloor coming by so by the end of this race weekend we'll have that uh what i don't want to do ideally is build new suspension parts because we're designing new ones so ideally i want to try and just build the new one when it's ready to save a bit of cash um but yeah we'll see what we get 
with that. Now, the other thing as well is uh, now the affiliate drivers. I couldn't figure out what had happened. Uh, we did actually, I did actually offer the the, the contracts to uh, to Dirksen and and Mansell, but they both rejected it when they came back. They wanted like two hundred grand a year, which isn't much. I mean, it's fine, but I don't want to. I don't want to spend unnecessary money right now. Um, and as things stand, I mean, I don't think it matters who our drivers are this year, in all honesty. Um, but you know, we're okay with these two for now, and then we'll sort of go you know we'll, we'll sort of move forward as we need to in the future uh now facilities we have the upgraded factory cannot get here quick enough how long is that 28 days we need that third manufacturing slot desperately um but the team hub has been built so that's good that's going to help with with things uh, and the other thing that has been built is the hospitality area which again should help with things uh, i really want a helipad <laughs> it's, only, it's only a quarter of a million but it does seem a little bit a little bit like a bit of a waste, doesn't it? Oh, I want a helipad. I want a helipad, damn it. So let's build one. <laughs> and we don't need a memorabilia room until we win something, basically. So we'll leave that where it is. Uh, and that is that finances are okay. Um, we're sort of we're sort of staying where we need to, uh, which is which is okay. Um, we've still got we've got twenty nine million in the bank. So yeah, yeah, we're we're not too bad on that front. Now let's go and have a look. Let's turn our attention to Suzuka. And let's have a look here. The overview. Do we have any rain? Rain for Friday, but that is it. Uh, the circuit map, if you're unfamiliar with it. Red is sector one, blue sector two, yellow sector three. Sections by speed. You can see those green sections, the high speed corners. And that's where our car is almost mid-pack now. So let's really keep our fingers crossed that that's going to work out for us. Uh, car attributes, we can see there. Um, yeah, medium and high speed corners, we're not the worst. We're not good, but... <laughs> <laughs> second or third worst but still uh now we can see here green flag stop costs you 23 seconds so it is kind of an expensive stop uh two stop is expected to be the way to go and uh the soft tire is eight tenths of a second or so faster than the hard and the medium is sort of a half a second slower so it is it's not completely worth an extra stop but you probably need to the problem that we have, and then uh, historically, it's uh, Max Verstappen that's one in, uh, in in one here. So the problem that we have is that our cars just aren't quick enough to to do a one stop sort of thing. Uh, so Stoff, you go for twentieth or higher. Uh, Mick, uh, Mick, I'm going to call him Mick so many times. Jack, you go for twenty first or higher. Just don't come last, and uh, we'll head off to Japan. So confirmation of after today a, uh, a free race. But to finish that thought, I was on uh, because we're so much slower, just generally in pace, we can't afford to be on a hard tire or one stopping because we're, we're that much slower again we really do need to be on a more aggressive strategy to try and, and basically keep up and even then we've got to add a pit stop on we just don't have the pace right now but let's hope with these upgrades that uh, that changes a little bit all right so we've done free practice and i've got to say the upgrades look like they might be doing something for us now one thing i did forget to mention van dorn has himself a grid penalty because uh you know you drive up the back of alban uh he's not going to get away with that but look at this 15th and 19th which was pretty promising considering we're going to have newer engine parts in the car for, uh, for qualifying and whatnot uh fp2 uh 17th and 18th uh now there was uh, it was a wet session so we're technically the slowest of the cars that did a, a lap on dry tires so maybe not quite as good as it looks and then fp3 maybe it's normal service being resumed but it is uh, 19th and 21st um but we've got our setups if we go and have a quick look here van dorn i think is going to be quite good if not perfect so that's that's a positive and uh, jack is uh, pretty close to perfect as well so q1 let's uh well first of all let's get the proper engine parts in and you can see what i mean about how we're going to be quick up by putting the, these better parts in now depending where van dorn qualifies we might actually take his penalty for the, a new ers here uh and possibly a gearbox as well although actually i don't think we can take a penalty because we haven't used up the new gearboxes yet we've still got new ones but certainly an ers would be able to uh, and again you can see jack's got to have a nice new engine in there and not better ers i'm cautiously optimistic i'm not saying we're going to get out of q1 but we might so first run let's ride on board with stoffel and see what he can do and yeah like i say hopefully we will um at least at least be more competitive here with the upgrades uh now one thing i didn't I mean to mention i've been forgetting to do it um down in the link of the video there's uh there's the discord uh facebook and twitter links or x whatever it's called now i'll always call it twitter um what i do particularly on the discord for formula one because it's a little bit uh 
I don't know, like a lot of information. Um, I post like free practice times, things that have happened uh, off the track in between episodes. So if you're not already part of those things and you want to sort of get little episode previews, links are in the description. Uh, the Discord is particularly a lot of fun. Um, the Facebook, I'm still kind of working on the best way to get the most out of that. Uh, and Twitter, I just it's just random thoughts. Um, so let's see what we've done here. So a 30.3 is far and away the best lap that we've done. Dylan's coming around now. He's nine tenths off, and well, Perez just sort of puts us in our place a little bit. But let's see how this sort of shakes out as the okay. session goes. All right, so it's not gone quite as well as I was hoping. We are 19th and 22nd currently. Uh, we are doing a second run on new tyres here, and we're on board with Jack Doohan. Stoffel is in front of us on track. So let's see. We're not a mile away from the from the Salbers in front. Um, no, we're a little ways away. Doohan, I think, just had a bad lap, so that's why I'm on board with him to see exactly where it did go wrong. He's done a green first sector. Stoffel has not. Uh, I wonder if there's a Salver in between us. I wonder if that got in Stoffel's way. That looks like it's on a hot lap as well. Second sector. Stoffel. Oh, no, it's at the end of this straight, isn't it? So he's done a green middle sector, so he could be going faster. Jack is on a good one, though. Let's see. Stoffel's about to cross the line now. Does he jump up the tower? I don't know that he did, did he? P19. Let's see what Jack does. He crosses the line. And Jack is 16th. Jack is 16th. He's, he's safe. He's currently safe. Is he going to get out of Q1? Um, so we're just waiting on people to finish laps that they're currently on. Is anybody below us going faster? Oh, Van Dorn's, So it's Gasly and Sargent could ruin our days. Where's Gasly? Here he comes now. Is Jack Doohan about to get out of Q1 for the first time in ABR history? Gasly comes across the line. He's not done it. Where's Sargent? Surely Logan Sargent isn't the man to knock us out. Come on. We're ahead of Albin. Surely, surely not. Oh, Doohan's out of Q1. Go on, Jackie boy. So, just the one elimination. It's last for Van Dorn, so we'll definitely just take penalties for the ERS now and get that out of the way. Uh, but Jack Doohan, out of Q1... Unlikely to go any further. He's only a tenth off, uh, off Bottas and, and Magnussen here, so you never know. All right, so here we go on our second run in Q2. This is our new and final new set of tyres. Uh, I've saved two sets of mediums for the race, which means we only have three sets of, uh, of soft tyres for qualifying. Uh, and given that I wasn't expecting to get out of Q1, this car needs to get the F out of the way. Um, yeah, I mean, it's not... Yeah, that's absolutely fine. So... Let's see. He's only three tenths of a second off of Bottas. If he could beat anybody in this session, it would be brilliant, let's be honest. But uh, he should be going faster than he is, given that he's on new tyres. And let's see. Let's see what he can do here. He should be green again. He is. Can he find three tenths of a second over Valtteri Bottas and move up to 15th on the grid? Either way, it's going to be a best ever starting position for the team. Here we go. Jack Doohan, what's he done? Oh, he's moved up to 14th. Magnussen and Bottas. Magnussen's beaten us. Where's Bottas? What's his lap? He's on a good one. Bottas. He's not beaten us. 15th for Jack Doohan. Go on. So, he's out. He expected to be out. He wasn't expected to get this far, in truth. So, Q3. Let's have a look at how the final grid is set. And uh, it's a Red Bull lockhead on the front row. But look at that for Jack Doohan. Stoffel, we had a penalty anyway. He's already at the back. So, like I say, we'll just take more penalties now. Okay, so there's a new ERS on Stoffel's car, so that is fine. Now, both cars have extra mediums, so I think I think what I want to do is a soft to start, uh, and then we're going to look to do medium, medium, because I think that's going to be the best way to do it. Um, yeah, it's very, very marginal, isn't it? It's very, very marginal. So uh, that's what we'll do. I'm wondering almost if... If maybe Jack Doohan's better off, uh, I mean that's the sort of, that's the strategy that the, the the game is suggesting for him anyway. I do think that is the best way to go, but yeah, well we'll see, won't we? Let's uh, let's hope. I don't think we're going to score points, but if we get a bit of a crazy race, you never know what Jack could do. Okay, welcome back, and uh, I mean nosebleed stuff for doing it. It's as, it's as high as we've almost been in a race already. I think through pit stop sequences in. Uh, in Melbourne, he got as high as 14th. So, like I say, it's almost as high as he's ever been. 
Uh, looks like he's dropped a spot off the line to Bottas, which is not ideal, but that's okay. Uh, one thing I, I don't really know yet in this version of the game is if um, if uh, telling them not to defend makes that much of a difference in terms of pace. Like we know in the last one, it slowed you up so much if you were defending. Um, Magnussen's got a bit of an issue in front. That's okay. We can't push the tires for too long with uh, with uh, with Jack here because it's it's marginal. Um, so we might even once we get past the first lap here, just uh, go back into conservation mode. Now tires, there's a few medium runners, but it is mostly soft. So it'll be interesting to see if that is uh, sort of soft, medium, medium like we're doing, or if people are going to go uh, maybe a different way on that one. Van Dorn is, uh, I mean, he's doing okay, isn't it? It looks, we look like, we look like we were like a, a, not a, maybe not a midfield team, but certainly a, a team that can, can run closer to the back of, of the race. So yeah, let's hope that, um, let's hope that we can, we can have a strong race here. Keep the pace up. We are on soft tires and maybe some of these cars in front are mediums as well, which is flattering as a touch. As uh, Van Dorn makes an over, I think that's his first up. overtake of the series. Now here, they were taking Let's have a look 14. at this. Into Spoon, that's a good move a go. up the inside. And uh, shows Luck and Sergeant a bit of Astro Turf as well on the exit. That nice one, stop. Climb up into Flag oh, well, now hang on, we've got a crash here. What's happened with this one? Now Is this... The looks of things, we're at turn 15. Oh, no. Barely any room to maneuver. Sergeant. Ooh, that's quite an impact between them. And oh. having seen it back... I think it's pretty obvious who was at fault. Yeah, I think it is, Crofty. Oh, now is that going to be... A, that's going to be another gearbox. Oh, for Christ's sake. Suspension, the new chassis. Oh, this is unbelievable. So it's knackered his tyres as well. I mean, obviously, it's it's a penalty for Sergeant. Um, there's a massive part of me, though, that just thinks damaged car, having to make an early pit stop here and just retire it, but... We'll see how we go. We're going to come in. We're going to put on the medium tires. Uh, we'll see how far they can take us. The only other option we have is to go into a hard, which we might need to do at some point in truth. But, oh, it's unbelievable. But let's focus in on Jack Doohan. He is behind Magnussen, who is currently holding us up quite a bit, it looks like. So what we might do, we'll see if we can get past him with a bit of, uh, we'll use up what's left of the battery. And see if we can get him with the DRS down the front straight. And if not, then we might need to sort of sit here and conserve for a few laps. Uh, the battery's empty, but has it done enough to get us a bit of overspeed? It looks like it has. And Jack Doohan up to 15th. Let's see if he can start running up the field now. All right. Well, unfortunately, Doohan has dropped back a couple of places. Uh, Magnussen got him one lap with DRS. And then, um, and then Albon just got him the next lap. One thing I've really noticed on this game is, and I don't know if it's harvesting just massively slows you down, which it might well be, and possibly it's exaggerated because of, the, the, you know, who we are and the car that we have. Uh, but it seems like they, like there can be a massive difference in, in speed between the two. Now, we've got a yellow flag here, nothing major, it doesn't look like. Um, but yeah, like, so Magnus and like a lap ago, we were, you know, we, we, we were faster than him and passed him, and then he's sort of four seconds up, the, or two seconds up the road all of a sudden. Um, but we're just going through a bit of a conservation phase with Jack here, just, uh, setting up some of the, uh, conserving some of the fuel to get us back closer to our number. But you can see here, just, like, cars just seem to, like, just disappear down the road. So, I mean, I was harvesting him for a bit because we drained the battery to get past Magnuson, so maybe that was part of it. I just wanted to get a little bit of, so we can race normally kind of thing. Um, but yeah, you can see he's just absolutely gone up the road, and, I mean, lift and coasting is not... I mean, it certainly shouldn't make a difference on the exit. It's absolutely flying away. And I don't quite understand why that happens. I'm wondering if underfueling the car is maybe a problem. If, like, you just shouldn't be shouldn't be having to save, like, you know, like, conserve fuel. Maybe we just take one lap out, not two. Um, yeah, because since I've done started to do that, we're just going back. And we have to do it. We have to, otherwise we're not going to finish with fuel anyway. So, yeah, it's a little bit... A little bit confusing why that's happening, but anyway. Maybe I'll just try doing one lap out, maybe. 
So another position lost here for Jack Doohan, this time to Gwen Yuzo. He's back to 20th. Um, I don't know if it's just the end of the stint and his tyres are, are going, but yeah, he's just dropping back like a stone now. All right, so Doohan is in this lap. He's, uh, yeah, tyres are... <laughs> Just hit falling off a cliff now. Thankfully, he has sort of tagged onto the back and he's not dropped away too badly from everybody. So I don't know if it was just the, the fuel save that was that was doing it. We've got to save a little bit more here. We'll have to save some with that. I'm very tempted to retire Van Dorn's car, to be honest. He's about to go and get lapped by everybody, or the, the front group anyway. They haven't stopped yet, so it, he'll get that lap back. But Verstappen, who has, as you can see on the minimap, not a mile behind him. So, yeah, we'll see. It just feels a little bit, if the car's that damaged, you know, to save the engine mileage. But here we go. Into the pits we come. Let's hope we get a good one. And uh, we've got a few in around us as well that have come in. I don't think we're close enough to get a, a jump. Of, uh, it wasn't a particularly good stop anyway. But out we and go. What's that? There was a bit of a, a pit, pit stop, stop issue. issue. Very minor one. I think we'll give ourselves that one first season, won't we? But, uh, yeah, he has uh, just lost that little bit more time now to Zoe that he doesn't really have to lose. All right, All right we've had a crash. Uh, and here we've got a yellow flag. Oh, Van Dorn, come on, man. What have you done this time? Or is he just letting... Oh, I missed it. No, I did get it. Uh, <laughs> he's taken out... You can see the chunk out of his rear wing there. I mean... Yeah, no, that's fair, Sergio. I'm, uh... I'm not sure what he was doing there, so we'll have to leave him out before we retire the car now. We'll get the penalty for that. And, um... Have a word. Alright, so Van Dorn is coming in. He'll have a penalty to serve. Hopefully we get a... I've noticed, uh, that the... Because, was it Doohan's pit stop? We've got the penalty. I can't remember. Anyway, um... Or maybe maybe it was the uh, the Ferrari save, but the the pit stop time starts after the penalty. So, given that everyone's already stopped and going, it's a 2.7 second stop. So that's not going to get us any pit stop points. Um, so what we'll do now is we'll just retire the car because he's obviously absolutely done. Um, the reason we want to do that is because um, otherwise he'll have to take a grid penalty for that penalty. So that'll do it for Van Dorn. Jog it off, Stoffel. You've done enough damage today. And we'll go back to Jack, who is, um... Yeah, well, he's 20th. And... Probably gonna stay <laughs> Okay, so we are on Duan's in-lap. Um, we're in that stage of the race now where we're getting lapped, so... Uh, it's just lap times, you can't really tell. He did have a little lock-up um, at the hairpin down here. He was letting a Ferrari pass, I think just misjudged it, which is probably easy enough to do. So it took a little bit of extra life out of his tyres, but he's got to where he needed to. Albon stopped the lap beforehand. He was uh, five seconds up the road anyway. So let's see if we can get a good stop. Maybe we can get some pit stop points out of this one. And uh, 2.8 is not going to get that done. So <laughs> uh, it was looking so good after qualifying, wasn't it? All right, now we are almost, almost caught, maybe about to pass Alex Albon, which will put us up into 19th, which would be very, very nice. Now, there's a Ferrari that is catching us, so ideally we'd like to get this overtake done here. And it looks like easily as you like. Never mind that little mechanical symbol. It's a perfectly healthy car that we've just passed, and that shows the uh, improvement in pace that we have. <laughs> uh, 11 seconds up the road to Zoe. He also has a perfectly healthy car. Um, but I just think with lap traffic, we're just going to struggle to to get the consistency of. Oh, never mind, he's out. Well, another expensive race for us. Unbelievable. So there is a legitimate chance we might have to do a Williams here and not be able to field two cars in the next race. If doing damage the chassis, I don't know if we're going to have time to build another chassis. Um, okay, well there we go. That was uh, that was a race. Pit stops? No, nothing there either. We are... Where are we? We're down to ninth now. That's disappointing, isn't it? If you probably can't see that behind my head. There we go. Um, yeah, well, anyway, it's 10 points more than I probably thought we were going to get. But, Doohan did meet his target. He didn't finish, but he was finished 21st, or did not finish 21st, as the case may be. So he gets some money for it. 
So good news. There's another underfloor that uh, no doubt has been damaged on both cars. So, <sighs> all right, what have we done? Okay, so you've done the chassis. We've both done the chassis. Okay, so we're gonna have to. We've got 11 days. We're gonna need to emergency manufacture a chassis. I think. Um, 10 days to the race. 2.2 million. We need two. Unless someone goes into the old one. Which we might need to do. Because even if we rush it, it's not going to... Ah, oh, guys, guys, guys. It's only an extra 300,000 to, to rush it. So let's rush a chassis. If for no other reason than it gives us a chance to, you know, to build something else. So someone gets the new one. Someone goes back into the old one. Rear wings. Do we have enough of those? Just about. So that's fine. Suspension. Did we both damage suspension? We did. Excellent, guys. That's exactly what I wanted you to do. Powertrain. Okay, so we got away with that. Well, he wasn't actually too bad because it wasn't Stoffel's fault, was it? Doing. You've ruined another gearbox. Excellent work, Jack. Love you. See that? ERS. You've damaged another one. And the engine is not too bad off in truth. Though, obviously, it's had some life taken out of it. And the aerodynamics, yeah, so everything else there is okay. So, yeah, brilliant. It's going perfectly to plan so far. Uh, we'll have the side pods. We should have those on the car for the next one, which is China, which is a sprint weekend. And, um, yeah, minor technical changes. Now, this is important because it will allow us to start working on next year's car. Um, I mean, in truth... We just we probably want minimal changes, don't we? Because um, the car's bad enough as it is. I think we just because if it's minimal changes, what that basically means is that we can develop this year's car and it will matter less for next season. So I think that that works out for us, uh, which is which is good. But anyway, guys, if you've enjoyed that, thumbs up. It sort of went downhill after qualifying. We'll come back for China. I think there was enough there to suggest that we might we might be able to battle a little bit more than we have been previously. Um, but yeah, we need to obviously stop hitting things and we'll do a lot better. Take care.